Boy, oh boy. Okay, so masterpieces. Uh, the Planeswalkers. Let's, let's really talk about this. Now, before I just throw out there, uh, I, I was very excited. I was really excited about this product. Um, I, I think I was a little... Uh, I was a little misled. I read in a few uh, tweets and a few subreddits and all that. There were to be one Planeswalker, one's Planeswalker masterpiece per Ravnica Mythic Edition booster box. And also keep in mind these booster boxes are separate from the normal Guilds of Ravnica booster boxes. Completely different thing. These are two different booster boxes we're talking about. One's going to be 80 bucks, 90 bucks upon release. The other, Ravnica Mythic Edition, is going to be $249, and you can only purchase it on Wizards' website. Now, that all being said, under the impression there was one masterpiece per box... That would make these rather sought-after masterpieces, would they not? Uh, especially since they're claiming it's limited edition. I don't ex exactly know what limited edition means, uh, but I have to agree with a few others that have said anything marked limited edition, you, just look at like video games that have come out in the past. I mean, limited edition, you don't see those things going for like hundreds of dollars. Usually it just means they're printed crazily and they're just trying to like re-push the product or something, you know? when they mark limited edition on something. So this may not really be limited edition. We, we don't exactly know a lot of details right now. But what we do know at this point is there's not going to be one masterpiece per box. There's going to be eight. Eight masterpieces per box. Total of 24 packs, similar to like your uh, master's booster boxes. You get 24 booster packs. Only difference is, I guess, maybe every other pack the first 16 booster packs are going to have a mythic in it as the rare slot perhaps maybe maybe not they could be just rares i think they're all going to be rares or rares or mythics in the first 16 and then after that you get these eight booster packs which are going to contain these lovely uh gentlemen and ladies behind us um you got the elspeth to fury which was just printed i mean it's the first time we've seen it. it's a really great card you got the Liliana, uh, you got Raz, um, I'm sorry, Ral, you, you got the Red, I mean, you got Nabolus, you got Tezzer, you got all these Planeswalkers, that's all fine and dandy. There's one more also, it's going to be Vraska. Spoiler alert, it's going to be Vraska, so you guys know. My, my issue with this is one per box would be great, because when you're distributing eight of these in every single booster box, regardless of the price, it could be 250 bucks, whatever, that that doesn't seem very scarce to me. If every booster box are guaranteed these, you basically already know what's going to be inside this product. Masterpieces are worth a lot of money from Kaladesh, Aether Revolt, the Expeditions, from Battle for, Zend or Battle for Zendikar, and Oath of the Gatewatch. Um, th those are worth quite a bit of money um, because they were the first of their kind and they were rare. They're one in like every three booster boxes. They're hard to pull. One in every three booster boxes on average. Think about that. Now they're making a product where there's eight guaranteed inside of every booster box, regardless of the inflated price tag. That that's not good. I, that, I don't like this product anymore. Honestly, I, I like I like that they're getting reprints, but selling it at two hundred fifty bucks, there's no way it's going to retain that value. I'm telling you right now, there's no way in hell it's going to retain a two hundred fifty dollar price tag. Not with eight Planeswalker masterpieces. Not with, they're not rare anymore. They're not scarce. They're they're they're, they're easy to come by. You just got to pay the the two fifty. This price has to come down. I guess the only way to purchase it is on Wizards website. Uh, upon release no this is a bit i don't like this product i, I i'm not oh. i'm kind of torn one I, I i didn't like masterpieces when they first came out but then i started to like them when i began pulling them but the reason i really like them is because they're so scarce not everyone can just not everyone can have one i mean 
I'm not trying to sound like a jerk or anything, but people want what's scarce. I mean, no one wants anything that's easy. There's a reason they call uh, certain people hoes, okay? You a hoe. Not many people want to wife that, you know? But I'll tell you one thing. I would wife a rare masterpiece. I would marry that sun gun, I swear. It's scarce. It's something more sought after. It's pure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like a cup of virgin blood, all right? The, the whole point of this, all right? This is... I just don't think they're going to retain their value. I think Watsy is making a cash grab here. All right, that's where I, that's why I'm not happy. This is why I'm not I'm not pleased with this product. I think Wizards it, Wizards is just going to make a cash grab, and they're going to take our dough and uh, be out the door. And then by the time all these are sold, then what? Uh, I think the price is going to drop. There's going to be so many of them out there. The only way this is going to go up in value. Look at this. Tafiri, if he just got a reprint. 50 bucks. Okay. He's going for about 50 bucks right now. 40 to 50. He's technically just getting reprinted because the masterpieces aren't that scarce. Unless Wizards comes out and says something like, all right, guys, there's only going to be 10,000 of these boxes. That would inflate the price. Absolutely. This Tafiri would probably jump in price. But now I, I kind of see it as it's just going to be the same price. As, as the normal, as, as the one in Dominaria, you know? And, and the same goes for these other Planeswalkers here. Um, the Nicole Bolas, it's regular versions, only like six, seven bucks. I don't think this thing's going to see a... Cr it's not going to go up that much, guys. I, I, I don't... I think it's a neat idea, but one with the price tag at two fifty, I'm not about that. Unfortunately, I will be stupid enough to purchase one to open it on the channel. That's going to happen guilty but after that initial one unless i could find somewhere to get them cheaper or unless i'm completely wrong about all this uh i'm not going to go out of my way and, and purchase these i'm just not i just don't care for them uh I, 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 I that's how i feel i'm torn on this one like i said we got a few little things i want to read here up on twitter so this is where i came to it uh the q a at the panel Clarified this, they're talking about one that the packs event uh, by saying it was basically a booster box, but eight of the packs are special, and one of the eight planeswalk, planeswalkers in each of them, uh, you will get you will get all eight and no duplicates. And then it says, ideally, it, it they don't feel special if you, you're guaranteed something, you know, you're going to get it, it's just not that special anymore, it, it loses its luster. Yes, they're hard to obtain. Not everyone, you know, not every kid's gonna be able to go out and get this. You know, it's expensive. Better cut a lot of lawns to get this stuff. And that I, I kind of don't like in a sense because Wizards never had a product that was like this, um, really to this magnitude. Usually they would, you know, your Masters boxes, they throw a Mythic in there, you know, that's worth a bunch of money. Sure, that's, that's fine. It's, it's, it's more sought after. Basically, those Mythics in those Master boxes are more rare than these eight reprinted planeswalkers think about it you're guaranteed all eight or you're guaranteed eight planeswalkers or eight masterpieces per box compare that to like a mana drain from masters uh, uh from iconic masters the mana drain's more scarce by far i'm just saying and that price is only sitting at what 60 bucks right now 70 bucks not a whole lot um, and before that i mean it was a much more valuable card we don't even know also if these are going to be foils. We don't know. We don't know if these masterpieces are foils or not. That's another thing. There's a lot of unanswered questions I have right now. And uh, if there's going to be eight Planeswalkers in every single one of these, uh, it's a cash grab. And, and I don't expect this to, to hold much value. It's like, hey, here's a special edition but how, uh, of the Planeswalker. But how special is this edition? Think about it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm done with this one. PLA.